What's up guys, iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can download QuickTime videos off the internet for free without the use of QuickTime Pro. So uh, let's open up a QuickTime video here. This is a uh, Kobe's 2001 02 mix, not really sure. But um, what we do to download it is right click it and click save as QuickTime movie. It seems simple enough. Ooh, and then it says feature requires QuickTime 7 Pro, and we need to buy now or learn more, or not now. So if we go to Apple's download site, apple.com slash QuickTime slash Pro, just to see how much it is, right? It's just for downloading videos off the internet, right? How much could it be? Buy for Windows, $30. So uh, it's your opinion whether that's too steep or not. But uh, there's an easy, completely legal way to do the same thing. So for this video, you're going to need Mozilla Firefox. Uh, it's one of the more popular browsers. I think recently it's been usurped by uh, Google Chrome. Uh, that's what I use at least. But uh, you're going to need Mozilla Firefox for this one because Firefox has a lot of those uh, cool little functions you can do with it. So we're going to go back to the video, and you're going to open this video up in uh, Firefox. And these are the steps you need to pay attention to. These will all be in the description too, so uh, you can follow step by step like that. You kind of have to memorize these steps because you can't go back and forth because uh, it's like a pop-up window that comes up once I start the process, and you can't keep like exiting out. You'll know what I mean when I open it. So you're gonna go to Tools in the uh, top left, go to Page Info, and now as you can see, you have to do everything here. You can't keep switching tabs, so this is where you have to remember the steps. You're going to go to media in the top uh, top left. And you're going to see here uh, the type of content on the page. It's going to say the address, and then it's going to say type, which is embed. So what you need to do, all you need to do actually, is just click on it, and then click save as. And there you go. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And as you can see here, it's going to be save as type as an MP4 video. Just name it like you would normally name anything. Click save and it does take a little bit because it does retain the original quality which is one of the best features about it um, it's about a 70 megabyte file and my Wi-Fi is probably not at its best right now so I'll come back when the uh, file is done downloading the file is just about done downloading so now we can close out of the download box and this box we can close out of the browser and here's the file right here Double click, it should open up in like Windows Media Player, whatever your software is. And the video plays in great quality. We'll watch number 10. All content belongs to the NBA, by the way. So, yeah. Uh, so, that's how you uh, save them in great quality, the same quality. It retains that, and you get it for free without paying $30 for QuickTime Pro, which you're not going to use for anything else. So I uh, hope, hope I can help you guys out with this tweak that I found. Uh, if you do like it, uh, please remember to like the video and uh, favorite if you like it a lot. And uh, if you're a subscriber, I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.